Hey everyone, today I have a quick review of the Moby Magic Numpad. It sells on their website for $29.90. The Magic Numpad comes in a super light box, so light that it feels empty. Inside the box they have three easy steps to get you up and running rather quickly. Step 1. Clean your Magic Trap Pad with the included cloth. Step 2. Choose a numpad sticker and apply it to your existing Magic Track Pad. And step 3. Go to HTTP blah 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 and download the software needed. Inside the box you have a pen and a credit card and on that credit card you have to scratch it like a lottery scratcher for the serial number that you need to install the software you just downloaded. Not to be confused with this pointless serial number on the box. So here's the cloth to clean it, the pen, and the card. And if you're wondering what the fuck is this, it's the magical card used to remove bubbles when you apply one of these laminate things onto your magic trackpad. And if you're a complete idiot, Moby has included a sticker that lets you know which side is the back, in case you didn't realize that all your numbers were backwards when you applied it. Here it is applied. It's a straightforward process. Use the little WTF card to remove the bubbles if you need to. Here's what it looks like next to an Apple Bluetooth keyboard. Notice, I no longer have bubbles in mind. So most of you are probably wondering, how's it actually work? Well, the results were pretty dismal. When tapping the keys as I normally would when coding or simply entering top secret passcodes, it consistently does not track every key press. Moby even included a soundbite of key clicks every time you tap the key. However, when you type a little quickly, sometimes the key press is acknowledged on the computer but there's no sound feedback. Now if you individually tap hard on each single key, and you press hard enough to click the magic trackpad, then it becomes 98% accurate. And I say 98 because it's not entirely accurate. By the time I did this review, I had been using, or attempting to use the trackpad as I should say, for several weeks. It did not get better in time, and I did not get used to it. I simply stopped using it. When you download the software from Moby's website, it comes with a very Apple-esque video showing different usage scenarios and whatnot. It shows a hand typing rather slowly on the numpad and having the results work perfectly. I still wonder how many takes that took. I thought that drawing on your keys with the included marker is really tacky, since the large reason that people are attracted to Apple products is their clean design. I wouldn't want my chicken scratch writing to appear on my numpad. The video also shows off a function where if you press F19 on the numpad, it will disable and enable the Moby software. However, I could never get it to re-enable after I disabled it. At the end of the day, there's a third party market for actual numpads that cost slightly higher and will do a much better job, and I would never ever recommend the Moby Magic Numpad to anyone I actually like, so I definitely recommend this to supporters of the SOPA and PIPA movements. Until next review, this is David Leach with Bail the Explosion.